Hello and welcome to this Design Cuts video tutorial. Today we're looking at installing brushes inside Illustrator. Before we begin, let's have a look at the Design Cuts assets that I'll be using today. I have downloaded the Stitch Craft brushes, styles and more, and there are a whole heap of brushes as well as other things in this particular collection. What we'll be looking at is how to install the sequin brushes that are shipped with this collection. So before you begin, you'll want to have downloaded the bundle that you've purchased. Then you'll go to your Downloads folder and unzip them. Now in this case, I've already unzipped the file. I double clicked on the zip file and then when I was prompted with Extract All Files, I went ahead and extracted them, but I've already done that. Now if you're working on a Mac, you'll probably find that when you just double click a zip file, that all the files are automatically extracted for you. So inside the folder that is created when you extract the files is another folder and inside this are a whole series of assets. And I'm looking at the brushes sequence. So this is the sequence folder. This is the brushes that I'll be installing. So let's return to Illustrator. I have just a document open and prepared. And what I'm going to do is to open that brush file as well. I'll choose file and then open. And I'll go to my Downloads folder and locate my Stitch Craft Brushes folder and navigate through it. I'm looking for my Sequin Brushes AI file because they're the brushes I want to install. So I'll just click Open. Now inside this file are the brushes that are shipped. These are the Sequin Brushes. They're scatter brushes. Now for me to be able to use them in documents in future, it would be really handy if I placed them somewhere where it was really easy for Illustrator to find. Now this brush file is already set up and ready for saving. So I'll click either here or up here and choose Save Brush Library. And Illustrator navigates me to the best possible location for saving these brushes in. You can see that the brush file already has its name, Sequin Brushes AI. So all I'll do is click Save. And those brushes are then saved inside the location that Illustrator would most like my brushes to be saved. So I'll close this Sequin file. And now in future when I'm working on something and I want to use those sequin brushes, this is exactly what I'll do. I'll go to the brushes panel. Of course the brushes don't appear here because they haven't been actually installed in Illustrator. They've just been placed in a location where it's really easy to find them. So I'll click either here on the brush libraries menu or on the flyout menu and go to open brush library. And these are in the user defined collection and here are our sequin brushes. So I'll click to open those brushes. Now I can click on each of these brushes in turn and they will be added into this document. I can just close that panel. So now all these sequin brushes are available to this particular document. So I'll go and grab the brush tool and select one of these sequin brushes. And to use that brush, I'll just draw a line and the sequins in that brush are placed along that line. Now the way that most brushes are set up, particularly brushes that are black or gray scale that you probably want to recolor, is that you can just select the brush line and select an alternate color. And then you'll get red sequins or green sequins or whatever color it is that you choose for your sequins to be. Now in terms of installing brushes on the Mac in Illustrator, it's a pretty similar process. I've already downloaded and expanded the file and I've located that sequence file where I can find it. I'm here in Illustrator and I've opened a new document, but I'll need to open my sequence file. So I'll do that again with File Open. Here are my sequence brushes, so I'll open that file. Locate the brushes panel. Here are the brushes. And again, I'll go to the flyout menu and choose Save Brush Library. Illustrator takes me to the best possible location for saving brushes. And so what I'll do is just leave the file named Sequin Brushes and click Save. That's all I need to do. I can now close the Sequin Brush file. And in future, anytime I want to use those Sequin Brushes, I'll just open up the Brushes panel. So just click on the Brushes panel and go to Open Brush Library, User Defined. And the sequin brushes are here, so I'll just click to select them. I can then add any of those that I want to the brushes panel in this document and just close down that panel because I don't need that any longer. 
Now the process of actually using your sequin brushes is exactly the same on the Mac as on the PC. I'll select the sequin, brush the line, I'll make sure that the line is selected when I go to change the colour of the sequins. I hope that you've enjoyed learning how to install brushes in Illustrator. Let us know what you think in the comments below and give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley for Design Cuts.